Hi everyone, Luca from lgmphotography.co.uk and this is just my Nikon D800 14-bit uh, versus 12-bit uh, second review. Right, so um, let's have a look. So what I've done is I've taken four pictures here. The first two here, which is uh, probably a stop, um, a stop over. What I've done is I've taken uh, overexposed pictures to see what we can recover. Uh, and the first one is uh, this one. And second one, I've taken the same pictures, just uh, even more overexposed, probably by uh, nearly one and a half to two stop here, overexposed. So let's see if I can put the 14 bit. So that is the 14 bit. All right, so let's have a look here. Uh, let's, you know what? let's start with the 12 bit. Let's start with the 12 bit and see what we can do from it. So, what I'm going to do is bring my highlight down. So that should drop. Yeah, it's already starting to drop a bit. So, let's bring the exposure down. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, I would just say just ignore the um, the sharpness here. It was handheld. I would do the only purpose really of this uh, test is really to test the uh, uh, 12 bit versus 14 bit. So what we can recover from. Uh, so that's not bad. I mean that is very usable. As you can see, there really there are a few issues with the, the sky colors here. Uh, but it's much better than what it was before. So that is the 12 bit. Uh, we'll leave it there. Now let's go to the 14 bit. Okay. No, 14 bit. So 14 bit has the exact same exposure. So 140 for the second f5.6 at ISO 100. So again, I'm going to bring the highlight right down and the exposure drop it down let's see how much i've dropped the exposure minus 1.91 so let's try to there we go same and yeah what we'll do is we'll pull it side by side in and uh look at the 12 bit versus 14 bit once it's been recovered so that's probably one of the best tests we can do next one so that was the 12 bit so that's uh, well overexposed uh, as you can see it's actually hard to make out what's there especially that the, the picture is not really sharp but uh, let's try so again I'll bring the highlight right down and let's bring the exposure down and see what we can get That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, from there, obviously, everything looks pretty good. Um, but it, it's managed to recover quite a lot, and I've dropped this by two, two and a half stop about here. So, okay, let's uh, let's have a look at the 14 bit now. So, right, right done. Do the same two and a half part. Right, okay, so <clears throat> same here. Drop down by drop the exposure by two and a half stop. And it's pretty much recovered everything. We have nice blue sky here coming I mean, we've got a few issues where the blue is not coming up so much here. Uh the same is there, so let me just go back to the twelve okay now let's put them side by side and have a look here so the first one which was right okay so the one on the left hand side is the 14 bit and the one on the right hand side is the 12 bit so let's have a look where there are some possible issues like here probably 
Okay, yes, yeah, so what we can pretty much see uh, is I'm having problem with the loading of the picture. There's probably too many programs running together here. But what I can see is that from the 14 bit to the 12 bit, the 14 bit seem to be capturing more saturated colors. Uh, I would try to ignore a bit the details. I should have taken probably this on the tripod, but um, this is pretty similar in question of result here. Uh, again I am trying to pixel peep here any uh, difference, no defect because there are some issues, there's clearly some issues where uh, the blue kind of got a bit too saturated in some places and not in others. Uh, let's have a look at the other ones because they were right okay so that is the very oversaturated, probably a two and a half stop here. Uh, so the one on the right, on the left here, it's the 12, uh, 12 bit, and the one on the right this time is a 14 bit. And it's taking time to load. Right, okay, so uh, again, let's zoom in and see the difference here. Um, it's done a good job on both sides um, it did recover quite a lot uh, we still got some patches of highlights uh, especially for example here this one just even on the previous picture the student uh, nothing no, the software didn't solve the issue here um, so again 12 bit versus 14 bit yeah i'm not seeing much difference um yeah and the size difference was quite uh, quite something let me just have a look here so 53 and 54 again 45 and 47 so yeah not, not that much difference in in question of size uh and that's probably because didn't really capture much more, um, much more details. But uh, yeah, I think either picture is usable. And if we go back to um, what it was before, we did anything here. Yeah, so that was the original picture. Um, so to be able to go from this to this is quite impressive. Uh, I've just uh, uploaded a couple of pictures which I've taken as well here, right by there. Um, and the reason I wanted to show you this is because this is pretty much straight out of the camera. What I've just done is highlight uh, a bit the, um, the the side of the railway here. Uh, but the sky is, is totally, it, it can lag this out of the camera. The dynamic range of this camera is just mad. It really is. Uh, the camera is seeing more than my eyes. It is, it's that good. Um, same here, I've highlighted a bit here and increased the contrast to bring a few details, but that was shot at what? Um, F7.1. Uh, yeah. I've cropped this picture. I've cropped it a bit, yeah. I think I've just made a bit straight, but uh, yeah the dynamic range is unbelievable and uh, yeah really really nice really capturing the, the contrast in the sky uh, the details everywhere and uh, yeah so that's just wanted I wanted to show you this on the side uh, if you have any question about it, if you if you think about me should if, if you want me to do any other test uh, let me know I'll be more than happy to to see if I can help uh, but that is my review between the 14-bit and 12-bit raw file of the Nikon D800. In my views, there are no much difference. Uh, which one would I use? Probably the 14-bit, and that's because um, it, it's got to be something more to it, uh, which I've not found yet. Uh, but uh, I'd rather try my best with every single picture I can. And the difference in size, uh, in file size, is not that much. 
and and I think I will be carrying on with 14 bit but if you have a D800 or if you think getting D800 and this is a question you're asking yourself like I was before I got it but couldn't find the answer well the answer is here um, there is not much of a difference each 12 bit or 14 bit file will be able to be recovered quite well and depending on your line of work and depending on uh, the chances of you overexposing your shots uh, well do you actually need the defense? Do you need to recover your picture that much? I personally don't. I try to get my shot exposed right. So I never came back from a wedding and had a picture like this. And if I do, uh, I would have probably spotted it at the time it happened and uh, worked to make sure it didn't happen. Uh, again, you can um, be confronted with a situation where you have extremely high highlights and shadows but you know it's, it's for you to manage but uh, yeah my recommendation is um, yeah go for the 14 bit if you can I don't know I don't know to me uh, it, it is the same I can see a difference on, on there and I'm already pixel peeping here so make your own judgment on this cheers see ya